We can't decide which one. What do you think? I think you should get an electric car. It helps not pollute the air. How does that work? Well, first of all, use the electricity instead of gas. But that's not all. Let's go ask Dr. Farrow. All right. Gas-powered cars goof off over 1,000 tons of smog-forming pollutants. Nothing brings more joy to every mile than driving electric cars. They make the daily drive feel more like a joy ride, and they represent how much you care to help the earth and our species. Hey, Professor, I actually heard that electric cars actually cost more than gas cars. Actually, Biff, that's not true. Electric cars have lower fuel and maintenance costs, so it's much more affordable to buy, own, and operate an electric car than a gas-powered car. I heard that if you own an electric car, you can ride in the carpool lane, and you can also get a rebate from the government. I also heard that electric cars actually do more damage to the environment than gas cars. That is also not true. Electric cars don't expel any smog. Electric cars can only emit a fraction of global warming pollutants that gas-powered vehicles produce. 534,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions are caused by gas-powered cars and trucks. And if you have solar panels, you can use the electricity from the sun to charge your car. I rigged up Mrs. Rodsky's electric car so we can go to the future. Sure this is gonna work? This should work, or at least I hope. One more thing, make sure you reach 88 miles per hour. 88, you got it? Uh-oh, something went wrong. My plan failed again. Uh-oh. I think something went wrong. A long time ago, we used to use horses to get around. But we've come a long way since then. I can't believe it actually worked this time. Now that's the future. Care. Be part of the solution. Not part of the problem. The world is in your hands.